Hey guys, well the uh, new project printer kit arrived today um, and a little bit daunting it is too. Um, so I've been through it, getting to know what's in there and uh, comparing it with the bill of materials and so on. So now I have a good handle on if you like what everything is. Um, what parts did I order that I didn't really need and what did I forget? <laughs> so uh, yeah um, at the back it goes we have the uh, the stepper motors with the uh, with the screws then we have the extrusions and the rods then I have the the carriage for the uh, y-axis because uh, I went with the uh, block bearing the uh, linear bearings and blocks um, and so this is the bearing kit, some cable ties, some lube, some uh, cable screen, uh, cable extensions because of the additional height, uh, bags and bags of nuts and bolts, uh, the angle back, angle supports. Uh, these are the two nuts to go on the screws of the uh, Z-axis motors. I didn't realize that they actually come with the motors so I ordered them so these are spare I really need these um, and this kit here is for the, um, the mini Rambo uh, controller um, which I don't really need this now because I'm gonna go straight to the INC controller so at the time I placed the order this was a good idea but I don't actually need it now and so that's it now the one thing that is missing that I need is uh, I got my heat bed so this is my 24 volt heat bed I got this a long time ago and uh, some of you may remember a failed 3d printer project I did back a long time ago and so that has been sitting in storage ever since uh, and to fit that onto the carriage there were nine little six mil spacers with screws and I don't have those and so uh, luckily Zaribo have them as, a, as an item so I've just ordered them up and we'll have to wait for DHL to ring my doorbell again with those uh, so I think I'll, I won't start the project until they arrive because that would be kind of a major bummer well I might start you never know <laughs> it depends on when they say the order ships because uh, DHL are really good uh, these days and uh, no problem um, so that's kind of where we're at it's a lot of stuff to do here and in the meantime I got plenty of reading up on the build manual etc etc uh, so I can be more confident I mean added to all this slot here we have all of the printed parts that I printed and uh, I'll bring them down from upstairs total came to something like 69 separate plastic parts um, and then there's the power supply which I gave a little sneak peek on last time and what else I think that's it so uh, yeah this is gonna take a little while and uh, we're not in any hurry so uh, yeah right now I'm gonna wait for the uh, that set of spacers to arrive I mean I could I mean I have tubing in the workshop I could just go out and cut a bunch of them but they're so critical to the bed being level that I don't really want to trust my engineering skills I'll get a proper set well it's uh, probably over a month since I shot that last clip um, and in that time um, the Zeribo printer got built <laughs> uh, my apologies I didn't video it much if at all because um, well a couple of things happened we had heat wave temperatures we had COVID lockdown and uh, I had some health issues that I needed dealing with um, and so I'm now I'm a good customer of the pharmaceutical industry with uh, four pills for breakfast and one for bedtime <laughs> anyway so this is this, on the right we have the uh, Zaribo uh, 420 um, which uh, is a German um, kit 
um, which is a much more beefy type construction and as you can see it has doubled the print height that I may never need but I thought if we're going the whole way let's go the whole way um, and so I actually have three of these printers now um, but I only have a table space for two so on the left we have uh, Huey <laughs> which is the uh, 2.5S um, working fine um, and then the uh, the big guy is Dewey um, and certainly Dewey will be kept and uh, Louis um, which is my standard mark 3 is uh, offline for the moment here he is here on the chair um, this guy is all set up for PLA printing and uh, Dewey will be uh, specializing in PTG and other materials so things with the Zeribo um, started out really good um, but I started to have trouble with the first layer adhesion even with PTG which is kind of weird because normally the challenge with PTG is to actually get it off the, of the bed not to uh, get it to stick and so I discovered um, having done a couple of temperature checks with the old laser jobby that the bed is actually 10 degrees cooler than what it says it is so when I heat the bed up to 85 uh, degrees centigrade uh, this guy says it's actually only like about 74 75 um, so I initially thought uh, okay let's just check the laser machine is working so when I do it over here on Huey um, it's actually uh, the bed is actually a little bit warmer uh, than what my machine says <laughs> so so the, so the gadget works and so I have a problem with the heat bed on that um, or maybe the thermistor but since as you might remember from the previous clip well you should because it was only a few seconds ago <laughs> now, um, it was a third party heat bed that I got a long time ago and so uh, of quality uh, unknown so um, we're gonna get a proper Zeribo heat bed and uh, put it retrofitted on there and then we'll try again so um, it seems like uh, I enjoy building these things more than using them <laughs> but now I got three I gotta stop so uh, we will finish off the Zeribo um, and get it all tuned up uh, and then we'll see I have a feeling that the 2.5 uh, Huey here is gonna get uh, retired and we'll just have Louie and Dewey um, as the uh, main machines going forward but we shall see so that's it guys um, I don't know if I'll post this now or wait until the bed arrives and do that I don't know we'll see <laughs> you'll know in a minute whether it's uh, whether I did or not <laughs> okay that's it for now so here we are 48 hours later uh, new Zeribo heat bed I also ordered up in case as a future protection thing the upgrade kit comes with what they call GT2 belts um, it doesn't come with pulleys because this is the upgrade kit so it, you take the pulleys from the other machine um, so this is all done with GT2 pulleys and belts these are what they call GT3 pulleys and uh, the appropriate GT3 type belt so this is all supposed to be uh, better <laughs> and I've seen a few guys uh, on the forum having a little bit of difficulty with these uh, belts and so I haven't had any trouble yet but uh, this is a precaution for later so this is fairly straightforward I won't bore you with it all there's nine uh, little screws holding this thing on here I just undo those nine screws unhook it from the controller at the back and uh, uh, do the same thing in reverse with the new uh, bed so one of the things I like about this design is it's it's bigger and there's more space for everything so the controller board is really quite small but they you know the design of the housing allows lots of room for the cables uh, that and the fact that it opens from the outside whereas the standard mark 3 opens on the inside it means this is a lot easier to work on when you have to make changes and stuff so I just have to take out the um, the heat bed cable here with its sensor 
and put the other one in its place. So, uh, Zari boy bed is installed, and now we will come to the crunch, set the temperature, and see if my little laser jobby agrees with it. Okay, so uh, at fi around 50 degrees. I think it says 48 here, 48 there, uh, 50 there, so here we are at 80 degrees centigrade. So that'll do for now, we'll put it, uh, put the uh, steel sheet back on and we'll do the temperature calibration. Oops, my mistake, you do the temp calibration with the steel sheet off the heat bed. And it looks like what it does is it um, it sets the temperature of the bed to various levels. And then it moves the uh, extruder around a little bit. And I presume what it's doing is reading the output of the pin sensor, but I don't know. Anyway, it takes a while to do because it sits there for ages and then it has six, six rounds of it to do. Back later. And there we go. We seem to be in business. Good adhesion to the bed. And all the rest is well. Okay guys, so there we go. I think this is the final config. Uh, Louis and Dewey. And Huey will retire. Not sure what'll happen. Uh, might find him a new home, you never know. So there we go, this guy is and uh, just for cosmetic reasons, I thought since I really like the LCD cover on this one, I'm reprinting one for this one here. Um, make it look nice. Uh, so there you go, I hope you found some of this a little bit interesting. I think this is the end of my uh, messing around with 3D printers in terms of making them and tweaking them and so on. Um, so from here on they'll just be uh, tools in the arsenal as they say. So that's it for now guys, uh, more to come uh, sometime soon. Cheers, bye!